Hey family, I'm Miranda here and in today's video I'm going to be taking on a challenge. So Mel and the crew over at the Rad Pack, they put out a nine films that scared me challenge. So I am going to be taking part in that today and share with you guys the nine films that scared me the most, um, be it as a kid or, you know, through the transcourse of the years as an adult. Um, but uh, the majority I'd say are from my childhood. Um, it's pretty rare for a film to, you know, kind of scare me nowadays, but there have been a couple, surprisingly. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get on into this. Um, I will say though, I did kind of stay away from the kind of main horror icons because let's face it, I could easily make up an entire list of just like the Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street, Chucky films, stuff like that, because I was not a fan of horror as a kid, you guys. And so I was terrified of all of them. Um, so I wanted to go a little bit of a different route and uh, share with you guys other films um, that definitely really got under my skin. So let's go on ahead and get into it. Now these aren't going to be in any particular order, um, but first up I do have Jeepers Creepers. You guys, the song in this, plus the rusty old truck and this ugly ass dude, like they just scared me so, so bad as a kid. It took me probably until my adulthood to actually watch this thing all the way through. But when I was younger, my brother, my cousins, they would try and get me to watch this. They would like sit me down and just kind of try and scare me with this film. And it seriously worked like every freaking time. I just wanted to like not even look at the TV and just like hide under a blanket or whatever. I don't know what it was about this creeper dude, but he was just absolutely terrifying to me. I just, I could not bear to look at him. And it's like, as the years have passed on, I'm like, are you serious? I was freaking scared of this ugly ass fucker, like for real. Um, it just kind of makes me laugh nowadays, but when I was younger, I was. I was just absolutely freaking terrified of Mr. Creeper here. Um, and the song, it just really uh, kind of, uh, gets to you and stuff and just the way he'd be in like you know the mysterious old rusty truck and stuff and yeah i hated this film so freaking much and it just I, it scared me so bad all right so next up we have insidious this is one that i actually just watched for the first time this year i haven't seen any of the other films in the franchise just this one um, but this one honestly was enough for me. Um, I don't know what it was about the freaking demon dude in this film, but I was just absolutely terrified of him. Like every freaking time he popped up in here, I just, I could not bear to look at him, you guys. I don't know what it is, but he got under my skin, you guys. He really, really did. That one scene specifically where they're like sitting around the table and it focuses on the dad all of a sudden. And then this demon dude's just like right there behind him it was the creepiest thing ever like this film is definitely creepy there's a lot of creepy elements in here like aside from the demon dude um but it, oh my gosh and even that that moment when they went down to like his lair or whatever the heck you want to call it and they're playing that one song and oh my gosh i just felt my heart just like hit the floor you guys i just this is creepy as hell for this being a more kind of, uh, you know, modern horror type film, it's definitely on the creepy side. Definitely some good jump scares in here. And yeah, I ain't gonna lie. As an adult, I, I found this to be pretty freaking freaky. Um, so I don't know if the demon dude shows up in any of the other films, but if he does, I'm sure I will not handle them very, very well. But anywho, uh, yeah, we have Insidious here. Quite creepy. All right, so next up, The Exorcist. I'm sure this probably is making everybody's list because holy moly, as a kid, this film was absolutely terrifying, you guys. This is like the best, one of the best, or the absolute best um, possession films out there, you guys, like for real. Uh, the possession in this is just so like spot on. It is so terrifying. Uh, just the way like the the voice and the way like the things that uh, the, like this devil makes Reagan do in here like the whole turning of the head the shaking of the bed the flotation all of it just absolutely terrifying as a kid like this just gave me freaking nightmares you guys um, I can't really say though that I feel like it has held up at all because honestly I revisited this not too long ago and I actually found it kind of a bit on the funnier side I don't know just some of the things like Reagan said in here and I don't know but as a kid, you guys, as a kid, this was definitely one that gave you nightmares that just absolutely terrified me. Um, and yeah, 
it's a possession flick and you know possessions are not an easy thing to watch they are definitely terrifying you know no matter what film it is but this film was just so spot on and the way like the sound effects in this film work they just made it seem like it was like in your house and even like the atmosphere setting in here on like the outside and inside the house um just really added to the fear um that this film gave me all right, so the next one I have here is actually another one that scared me as an adult. I actually watched this film, I want to say like last year for the first time, and I don't see myself watching this again anytime soon, and that is A Dead Silence. Now, you guys, the ending in this uh, was just freaking mind-blowing. I went bonkers, you guys, like for real. Um, I have a thing for dummies, and since this is like, you know, all about dummies and stuff like that, I just... I was absolutely freaking terrified the whole time I was watching this. Uh, I, my heart was racing. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a story time um, because I absolutely am just freaking terrified of dummies. So when I was younger, I was 10 years old, I was going to have a clown at my birthday party, which seems a little old to have a clown for your birthday, but anywho. Um, but just so happens that this clown also happened to be a ventriloquist. And so obviously the clown here required a deposit. So me and my dad, we head over to this clown's house so that my dad can, you know, give him the deposit. So we're all sitting there in the clown's kitchen. It's a tiny little kitchen. It can only fit like three people at the table because the other end is like pushed up against the wall. And so um, then there's like a little kind of doorway that leads, like open doorway that leads to the living room. The TV is going and on the couch, I can see that this clown's dummy is just sitting there. Like he's sitting there watching the TV like as if he were like a little kid or something like that and so I'm like right here next to the doorway my dad's here and the clown's here and you know my dad he's a chatterbox so he's just chatting away with this clown and I just kind of like you know keep turning back to like look at the TV look into the living room and then you know back to the conversation pretend like I'm listening and stuff like that but there was one moment when I turned back to the living room was like looking at the TV and I kid you not I kid you not this freaking dummy that was sitting there on the couch all by his lonesome himself watching the TV slowly turned its head and fucking looked at me. I kid you not. And I was just in that freaking moment. I was just simply terrified. I wanted to go. I'm like, dad, let's get the hell out of here. I mean, not those exact words, but you know, I was like, let's go, let's go. Um, and at that point I was like, screw this. I do not want this clown at my party, but my dad had already slipped him the money and stuff. I was like, I do not want this clown or this dummy at my house. Okay. So moving forward to the party. So the day of the party, I am tr seriously trying to stay as far the hell away from the dummy and the clown as possible. But of course, you know, it's my party. And so he's like, oh, here, come and try out my dummy. I'm like, uh, no, thank you. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm like, literally like, no, stay the fuck away, dude. <laughs> um, but this clown literally pretty much just like grabs me and like sticks my freaking hand inside his dummy. You guys, the sensation that I felt when I had my hand inside this dummy did not feel like it was supposed to. Dummies are made of freaking wood. This dummy was warm inside and whatever the hell I was grabbing, it was like squishy and like slimy. And when I pulled my hand out, my hand was literally wet, you guys. I have no idea what the hell it was, but it did not feel like a dummy should feel. It was the weirdest, scariest thing ever. And I, since that time have just been absolutely traumatized by freaking dummies and so i just i i can't stand watching anything that has dummies in it i don't even ever want to see another freaking dummy again in my life be close to one because i am i'm just absolutely traumatized by that experience so this film really got my nerves going and i just <laughs> I could barely handle even freaking watching this. I barely made it through, you guys. Um, like I said, that ending in this was just insane. So, yeah. Uh, I don't plan on watching this anytime soon again. And even if I tried to watch it again, I, I don't really think that I could handle it again. So, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we got Dead Silence. All right, so the next one I have here is Stephen King's It. This is my absolute favorite version. But as a kid, you guys... As a kid, this was kind of what woke my uh, fear of clowns. I'm not a fan of them, obviously, anymore, and much less after that experience with uh, the clown ventriloquist, you know. Um, 
But this one, you guys, Tim Curry's performance in here as Pennywise is just absolutely unsettling. And my brothers, they used to scare me all the time with this film. Like anytime we'd be out and about, they'd like yell something when we walk by like a drain and I would like seriously just like freaking like jump around in place and just totally freak the fuck out. Um, Cause this film just, it, it really got to me. This is the one clown film that I truly remember watching, like the first one I remember watching that really, really stuck with me over the years, really got to me and just got under my skin. And I, to this day, I cannot stand walking by drains, you guys. It freaks me the hell out. I always feel like I'm just, if I walk too close, that I'm just gonna get like snatched down into the drain. Like that's how bad my fear for this film was. And yeah, my brothers, they used to just be so mean about it with me and just trick me and all of that stuff. But Pennywise in here is just absolutely freaking terrifying, you guys. Um, just the, the thought, his, his face, everything. It's just creepy as hell. So I was absolutely terrified of Pennywise uh, and this film as a kid. All right, the next one I have here is 13 Ghosts, which is kind of funny because this is actually growing to be my all-time favorite horror film. But of course, back in the day, the ghosts in here, you guys, are actually quite creepy, quite terrifying, especially like the, the jackal. And I really did not like the uh, guy that has like all the... I don't know, screws, bolts, whatever the hell you want to call them in his head. Um, the juggernaut was pretty creepy too. And even the old lady with like the big old baby, I don't know what the hell it was about those two, but they really got to me, you guys. Um, but yeah, just some of the like movements that they would make and the way that they'd look at you like through the glass and everything was just creepy as hell. And so, yeah, I was definitely scared of a bunch of the ghosts in this film. Um, but like I said, I've grown to love it, but as a kid, it was definitely one that creeped the hell out of me. All right, the next one is A Village of the Dam. Now, growing up, I didn't even know this was a remake, but this creeped the heck out of me as a kid, you guys. I mean, I have grown to love it. It's definitely up there with some of my favorite, you know, like kind of horror films. Um, but this one, the, these kids specifically are what really, really got to me. Um, the whole kind of like sci-fi aspect mixed in with the like creepy kid thing. It totally worked, totally freaked me the heck out when I was younger. Just the way that these kids like looked at the people, the way they got into their minds, the way that they walked together, dressed the same, looked the same, did everything together. Uh, just I don't know what it was about their like white hair and just their pale appearance and those like beady eyes and everything. And yeah, just the way that they would like stare at the people and you know, kind of control their minds and stuff like that. It just freaking got to me and I just could not stand watching this film when I was younger because these kids in here, they just, I did not wanna, you know, meet any kid like them, you know, in real life. Um, Cause yeah, definitely watching this, just kind of see flashes of these kids. They, they really kind of got into your head as well. And so it definitely uh, totally freaked me out when I was younger. Um, so yeah, we got Village of the Damned. All right, so getting down to the last two, so, the ring, you guys. I'd be lying if I said that I was not afraid to answer the phone after watching The Ring. I don't know, this film, it just really dug into your skin, you guys. And it just was one that the whole like mystery of the tape and then like actually watching it and then, you know, the phone call. And then of course you have the girl coming out of the TV. Like I seriously thought this freaking girl was going to come out of my TV. That's how bad, like I, I just was afraid of this film. It, I mean, it's, I don't know what it was. It, it, there's just a kind of like whole little mystery to this film. And yeah, just every single time the phone rang, I was just like, nope, I ain't answering it. Somebody else can get it. <laughs> um, but it is, it, it just freaked the heck out of me. And yeah, I, I totally thought that the girl was gonna come out of my TV, so. <laughs> All right, last but not least, you guys, this next film is one that honestly, for me, it is by far the most unsettling film that I have ever, ever seen. And I wouldn't necessarily fully categorize it as horror, it's kind of more of a thriller, but I'm talking about this film called Ratter. Now, what makes this film so terrifying is that this is one that makes you think twice about technology because it's definitely something that I can actually see happening in real life. Basically, you have this girl um, and she has this kind of um, like hacker stalker um, who basically hacks into her 
webcam and her phone camera and is literally like watching her all the time uh, as she sleeps, as she's in the shower, hell, as she's on the freaking toilet um, and just kind of like knows her whereabouts and all of that. And this hacker slowly kind of grows this obsession for her and it leads to this hacker person like breaking into her home and even just like watching her as she sleeps and like I said, like as she's like in the shower, like, you know, peeking in at her and stuff like that without her knowing that he's even there. But he doesn't do anything to her yet. Um, like I said, it's an obsession that slowly grows until it just turns out of control, you guys. The ending in this was just so freaking mind blowing. I like your anxiety goes through the roof the whole time you're watching this film. It really gets your heart racing and it definitely really, really does get you thinking twice about technology and who the hell is on the other end of your camera, or the other end of your phone line, whatever the case may be. But this was scary as hell, you guys, just to see this hacker and the way that he would, you know, peek in and spy on her and stuff like that and just watch their obsession slowly grow out of control into just something so much more. It was just freaking crazy nuts, you guys. I highly recommend you check it out. But yeah, for me, this was absolutely terrifying. And I was just so at unease the whole time watching this. So those are my rad nine picks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have seen any of these films and your thoughts on them. I would also love to know your rad nine. So drop them in the comments below. Mel and the crew at the Rad Pack, thank you guys so, so much for throwing out another awesome challenge. Definitely had fun doing this one. Definitely some scary films and I've been loving learning, uh, you know, everybody else's films that uh, definitely get to them. Um, Cause it's not always necessarily what you would consider to be like full blown horror. There's definitely some other films out there that are, you know, would, make for interesting picks and stuff. So, but anyway, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Join the family if you have not, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.